Virat Kohli, who we visited with a, a couple of years ago here in Mumbai. Uh, your t uh, sessions with him in 2014 after his England series entailed what? I hadn't spoken much about that. There were a few areas he wanted to work on and we discussed. He, and he gives you a lot of credit. Yes, he, uh, Virat is a good friend and uh, so pleased to see how his career has shaped, you know, in, in the last decade, how when he started, I was part of the team at that time. And I could see that fire in him. I could see that hunger in him. And from there on, how he's worked hard on his game, how he's changed his lifestyle to achieve what he's been able to achieve has been remarkable. And in 2014, I remember meeting him and we, we discussed a couple of things uh, uh, where uh, I felt he could get better. What do you think you learned from him? I learned um, humility. I learned absolute commitment to the sport. And just after playing for 25 years for your country, still having the commitment to you know, put the effort that he put when he was on the field is something which I think is a huge, huge learning for anyone. Um, not just in sport, but I think across anything in life. Virat uh, has, has uh, been tremendous. He's done remarkably well. And uh, there is so much to happen in his career from here on. We all, at some stage in our career, we all need heroes. And then uh, the players, uh, who have that impact on their generation motivate so many guys. And then when I was growing up, there was Sunil Gavaskar there. And, and he was that to you, you were that to Virat. How satisfying is it to be able to kind of work with the, the face of the next generation? I think um, I've always believed in, you know, helping players and sharing uh, my knowledge whatever inputs I have, uh, always been open to that. And uh, Virat had contacted me and he wanted me to spend some time with him, and which, I, which I did. And uh, like I said, that each generation, they look up to their hero and then that's how you set your dreams and you set your targets and then you start chasing them. I remember growing up, he was he was the one who revolutionized the sport in this country just purely because of the way he went on about things. You'll always have someone who will come and change the sport. Um, so if you talk about basketball, you talk about Jordan, the way he you know, just changed the whole outlook of the game and unlocked new abilities for people to believe in. Um, and that's exactly what he did. What do you remember from the gift that he gave you? Oh, I was, uh, I still remember just had returned to the dressing room and I couldn't control my tears. Uh, till then, I knew, I mean, yes, I'm going to retire. But when that ball was done, I said to myself, OK, that's it. Never, ever in your life you will walk out on the field as an international player for India. Imagine for 25 years, there's one name that's been constant in the Indian cricket team, and now he's not going to be there. We felt like you know, how, you, how a child feels like when they're scared or they're by themselves at night, you know, walking home and you feel that sort of that hollow and that, you know, emptiness around you. We f all of us felt like that. So I was sitting in one corner alone with a towel on my head and uh, wiping tears and I was really emotional. And at that time, Virat had, Virat had come to me and uh, Virat gave me the sacred thread that his father had given him. It was from his late father. Yes, absolutely. We usually wear threads around our wrist. In India, a lot of people do. So my father gave one to me, uh, which he used to have. So I used to keep that with me in my bag. And then I thought, this is the most valuable thing I have. So it's so like my father gave this to me and I think I couldn't give you anything more valuable and I just want you to know how much you've inspired me and what you mean to all of us and this is my little gift to you. Kept that for a while and then returned that to him again. I said, this is priceless and this has to stay with you and no one else. This is your property and you should have it till your last breath. 
and I gave it back to him. So that was that was an emotional moment. Uh, something something which will be always uh, there in my memory forever.